Netanyahu's trolling on the World Wide Web is only one of the many troubles the Iranian regime faces. The country's economic situation is very poor. Iran's currency has plunged to a record low against the dollar. The value of Iran's rial has fallen to a jaw-dropping 100,000 to the US dollar. In other words, one US dollar is worth one lakh rial. The currency value plunged over America's decision to impose tough sanctions on Iran. An announcement is expected on the 7th of August. The Trump administration is expected to reimpose the first batch of sanctions this month. That will hit Iran's trade in gold and precious metals, graphite, coal, etc. Imports of Iranian carpets and some food, food items into America will also attract sanctions. This is after American President Donald Trump pulled out of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Washington has also warned other countries against buying Iranian oil. The deadline it has set expires on the 4th of November this year. All this is part of the Trump administration's strategy to step up pressure on Tehran. Iran's rial has lost half of its value since April this year. Add to that a weak economy, growing financial difficulties at local banks and the high demand for the dollar. Their best hope now is Europe. Iran's European partners, who still support the nuclear deal, by the way, are trying to come up with an economic package. We'll have to wait and see how that goes. India, meanwhile, also has to decide where it stands on this issue. Since the day President Donald Trump announced that he will slap tough sanctions on Tehran, there's been a lot of intrigue over how New Delhi will handle this. Iran is India's third largest supplier of crude oil. Through the investments towards the Chabahar port, India has been able to achieve key trade and strategic objectives. India's relationship with Iran could be at stake if New Delhi decides to tow the American line. It has to make up its own mind on two aspects, the trade and the strategic relationship with Iran. On the trade front, adjustments are being made to create some breathing room if the sanctions indeed restrict India and Iran. India has allowed Iran's bank, Pasar Ghat, to open a branch in the country. The idea behind this is to cut the exposure of Indian banks to Iran. As far as the oil imports are concerned, New Delhi is expected to push for a waiver from Washington. Otherwise, it may need to procure oil from Saudi Arabia or even Iraq, the other two big exporters. India could push the Trump administration on this. It has successfully done the same with Russian defense supplies. America has made an exception for India there. Can the same be achieved with Iran?